This is different viewpoint. I'm rocking with Vereen TV. A different viewpoint. So uh, let's start off. Uh, where you from? From Port St. Lucie, Florida. Port St. Lucie, Florida. And when did you like get into like filming? Huh? Well, I started when I was young. Um, just like editing little stuff, you know, just messing around. And I actually started to like it. And then I started to go into more bigger films, stuff like that, you know, upgrading camera stuff and everything. I really started, ended 2016, pretty much 2017. So I've been doing it for like a little over a year. Um, started off with, you know, just doing like free work, trying to work my way in, yeah. um, doing anything from commercials to videos. I was doing even free shit just to really build my, my name out there. And then once I started to um, put out high quality content, I started to get a, a, a good, crowd that wanted to really fuck with me and then they really wanted to build and then I started to build a team. I, I have um, somebody else, my partner Grant, he shoots with me. Um, we have my buddy Josh that does graphic design and, and web design and then we and then he also helps with marketing and then we have another person that um, helps us out with other aspects of our of our stuff but we, we decided to make a team of everything that artists need. I mean we have a, we have a marketing team, we have a, um, a videography team, we have a logo and then web design. I mean this this day and age if you don't have anything to really build yourself behind marketing stuff like that then it's, you can't really go anywhere I mean uh, video will only get you so far but if you get no views on it what, what's the point what's the point of spending a thousand dollars two thousand dollars on a video if, if you're gonna get five five twenty views I mean it, it's really no point so that's why we build a platform where you can you can we help you market your video afterwards we give you connections of where to go with the video and then actually building that video to um, an actual standard that's professional level so so explain the, the meaning behind the name the different viewpoint like where did that when did that come about so when I was citing my name I really wanted to stand out from everybody yeah. so I, I, I figured I wanted to give everybody a different aspect of view on the actual well, what I'm trying to do. I don't want to don't want to do the same thing that the next person does and the next person does. I, I want to be different in every aspect. So that's where I came up with a different viewpoint. Um, I started to build the name with it and I wanted it, I wanted to be real different from everybody. And every time I do a video, I ask them, I'm like, how can we be different in this video? If anywhere from a wedding video to a commercial, I want to be different. I, I want my company to be different. I want, I, I mean, our, the people that I work with, I mean, we're all on the same page. We want to be, we want to stand out and we want to show everybody that we're a different kind of company. And I think that's why a lot of people have a lot of respect for us. It's just because we do stuff differently and then we do it in a high quality way. And when did you start shooting music videos? Was that something in the beginning or did you just start? No, I, I started with, I started with like uh, local commercials, yeah. uh, a lot of social media commercials. Um, a lot of like photography stuff like that trying to get my way in I always had a love for videos I, I really um, we don't really do too much photos and stuff like that just because I like to tell a story a video tells a story a picture just tells a moment so um, I really like I started with videos last year I did my first ever music video God it's it's, it's, it's been a long way since, <laughs> since that first one I mean we really grown to uh, a spot where Everybody knows when we drop a video, it's gonna it's gonna go somewhere. Yeah. It's gonna be high quality content. I mean, I've seen people do the same kind of wave that we're kind of doing. I'm always trying to create like a new type of wave and stuff like that. And I, I see people peeping it. I mean, big time people peeping it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, once you get a video that's going on World Star and stuff like that, you're gonna get your name out there. And yeah. that's when I started to get real people hitting me up, like new people starting off. I'm like, people don't know I started off like a year and a half ago. I mean, a little almost. Yeah, about a year and a half. I mean, people don't really understand that. And then they're like, they'll message me like, hey, I just started, what can I do? And I'm like, basically, just, yeah. basically, you just got to do something <laughs> yeah. different. You know, yeah. I, I tell them that. I'm like, create your own image and, and just run with it. And who was the biggest artist you had a chance to work with? Um, or some of them. Well, I mean, I think probably like the coolest person I met was I mean, I think that probably the biggest artist I got to work with, I think, is is A Boogie. I got to be on stage with A Boogie, so I talked to him. He's actually from from my city, so I got to just say what's up to him. And I told him I'm from the city. He goes, he, he dabbed me up, and he's like, yeah, this is this is cool, man. So it's kind of cool to see somebody like, like you 
from your city that kind of blew up, and then you're trying to chase yeah, that. So, yeah. mm -hmm. so you have, you ever had a chance to work with an artist and they came to you like, bro, I'm gonna pay you X amount of money, but I only want you to shoot my videos. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's I think it's cool when somebody wants to keep fucking with you after you do a video. That means you, you're doing something right. Yeah. I think we're coming at their approach where we're trying to build. We're not just trying to take your money and see you later. I mean, um, for example, I had a video um, I shot. It didn't go according to plan. Um, he, he was supposed to have a lot of stuff there, a lot of people there. Ended up getting a flat tire. They weren't supposed to make it there. We shot one scene and he didn't really believe in it and he's just like keep the money he's like he's like I, he's like I, i'm done I, I i don't like how it's coming out blah 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 he's like i was supposed to have a lot more stuff here a lot of more people here i didn't have anybody That's crazy. and i told him i'm like i'm like don't give up on this video right here and we we worked through it and now he fucking with me every video we just shot another video i mean um it turned out to being a world star i mean He's got, he had Kodak's manager bumping it on live, you know. Yeah, it, it's just, when people when people shoot a video and it doesn't go according to plan, no music video will ever go according to plan. No. I don't care how good I plan it, yeah, no. how good I plan it. I mean, I have it on paper, yeah. we're on time schedule. I don't care what happens. Yeah. I think that's the greatest thing when you finish a video and then you see what obstacles you overcame to get to that point. Yeah. You're like, damn, this is it's crazy how this video, all these circumstances led up to this like video. I think it puts, that's what makes me like a video so much more is all the circumstances behind it. Yeah. So, I mean, I think when people when people work with me one time, they're like, oh damn, he's trying to build. Okay, now, now we shot a video. Damn, he's giving me connections of how I can build my video and how I can, um, I can put it on, for this amount of dollars, I can put it on this blog, for this amount of dollars, I can put it on this pages. Always helping me market it on the actual Instagram ads. Dang, we're really trying to build here. So, mm -hmm. I think with that, I'm just giving them a whole leads to other ways and then helping them build their actual um, profile into a like a professional account i mean I, th I think that's why people want to keep messing with me and how long does it usually take you like to shoot a music video like on the average um it it all depends so man. what's the what's the longest like it, the longest it ever took you in like a like one day span like I think like seven hours. Seven hours yeah. Well, it was only because, man, I'm always shooting in Miami, and it's like yeah. half an hour to get from scene to scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and then I'm so critiqued about our shots. Like, I, I mean, when I'm when I'm directing behind the scene, I'm like, if I don't get the shot I want, like, I'm gonna want to redo it redo. to get that shot because every time I put out work, I want it to be a hundred percent of what I'm trying to do. Like, I, if it's not my vision, oh, we're gonna scratch it and redo it. Yeah, because I gotta make sure that, and if I don't see enough energy or something like that, or the energy that I'm trying to flow, I mean, not every video you need to be jumping around. Not every video you need to be laid back. So, I, I it's those all go hand in hand, and that's why I like to have a team because we're all looking at those every. We're looking at your body language. We're looking at your mouth. Make sure you're actually wrapping the words. We're, we're we're going into all this different stuff so we can build this. So we'll. It just all depends. I mean, we like to shoot for max six hours, but I mean. Sometimes it's shorter, sometimes it's not, just depending on situations. How long does it usually take you to edit the video? Like, um, I do a lot of different stuff when I edit than other people. Um, I think I put a little bit more time into it. Um, I go in, my, my first process um, is to actually break down the video, look at all the clips, see what we got. So my next step is to actually chop it all up, go through the process, yeah. and then my next step is to color correct. I think a lot of editors skip out on color correction and they don't understand how big it is. Yeah. I mean, if, if I'm shooting in this and this black shirt is not black and it's like a fade, or if this blue right here is like a is like a, almost like a green because you don't have enough lighting or something like that, then it really takes away from like the quality of your video. What's the point of shooting on a high quality camera if you're not gonna actually bring the colors back to life? Yeah. yeah, I shoot everything in raw so that way I can go back I can actually bring those colors back to life. And I think a lot of editors skip out on that and that's such a big deal, it's ridiculous. So, I mean, it usually takes me about two to three weeks to get a video back. I mean, all of our videos come with a trailer, so I usually have a trailer to them about two and a half weeks and then we'll go for a game plan. Not every rapper wants to drop the video right when we drop it. I mean, I want to, I just spent, <laughs> I just spent three weeks on a video, so I'm like, all right, let's get it, come on, let's go. But you know, sometimes you gotta actually go off, you gotta, the, Director and the rapper have to be on the same page. Yeah. We gotta be able to converse, we gotta be able to talk about stuff, we gotta be able to be on the same page, and that's what actually makes um, the video 
go a little harder and people will respect a little more when you guys are on the same page. If, if I drop it and he doesn't want to drop it, so it's going to be pointless. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. so uh, what's your craziest experience, like wild, wild experience that you remember while shooting a video? While shooting a video? Yeah. Man. I know you probably had a lot of crazy. Damn. Well, I mean, I think the craziest was that one I was just telling you about. I mean, we we got there and we shot yeah. one scene. I mean, he, we we're supposed to have a first. It started off. We we're supposed to have a jet. We we're supposed to shoot with the jet. Yeah, that got canceled. Yeah. Then the mansion, the mansion got canceled. Then we we're supposed to shoot in Miami. We we're supposed to have two Hummer. Um, what is it? The uh, the Benz trucks. Yeah. Two Benz trucks. These got canceled. <laughs> so we get down there. Supposed to have ten people. We only have two. That's crazy. Supposed to be there at 11 o'clock. Started at started at three. So all those circumstances led up to this point, and then we got to the first scene. Um, we didn't have enough people for the first scene, so we had to grab other people. Then we went to the Miami Heat Stadium. And we actually snuck through the back, and we got actually behind the stadium. So um, and then we actually got a rental car too. So. Out of nowhere. <laughs> Make something happen. Out of nowhere. So, I mean, I've had other videos where, I mean, stuff doesn't go as according to plan. Okay, we got, we want this scene, and then we don't get that one, and then we have to backtrack, yeah. and then we just go with the flow and go to this one, and then we're like, how do we get here? So, I mean, each video has got its own story. If I go on, I mean, it'd just be story after story after story. But, I mean, each video is just. Every story, every video has a story behind it, and that's why I love rewatching my videos. Just yeah. because I'm like, dang, how did I get to this from this? I mean, I remember like one of my first music videos I shot. We actually shot like in like the middle of the hood, and we actually had these undercover cops like in this car, and we were so in, so much in the hood, like the people outside started to go inside because they really thought these guys were cops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because we were shooting them from a distance, they couldn't really tell. So they had the badges and everything like that, and they were sitting yeah. inside the car, and we were shooting from a distance. They legit went inside because they thought that they were real cops. I mean, it means we did our part, <laughs> yeah. but I know. But it's just, it's crazy because like we're we're like we're in places that people wouldn't really think that we would shoot this kind of video in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, and I like to incorporate kind of stories with our videos too. It helps get like a more something to draw the audience in, something like that. Yeah, I'll that. tell you one thing. Every time I do a video, like the video, like you would tell with some editors. The video will start out strong and then you'll kind of lose effects towards yeah. the end. I mean, I, I think my videos, if you watch through, you're going to see something new throughout the whole entire video, all the way up to the end. I try to make my ends as, as good as my beginnings. So, I mean, I put a lot of effort into actually making it worth watching all the way through. And uh, what are some of the things that the director has to worry about that the artist don't really have to worry about doing a music video? I mean, I, I, I think. I think the artist trusts the director sometimes a little too much and doesn't really understand little things. Um, as a director, you want to make sure that everybody is on the same page explaining. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's hard to explain your vision sometimes when you have an elaborate vision. <laughs> so when I'm trying to explain my vision, I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about body language for a certain scene. I'm talking about lighting for a certain scene. I'm talking about mood for a certain scene. And then also, um, as an artist, you're worrying about yourself. When as a director, I'm worried about everybody that's in your video. Yeah. If one person's in the back laughing, it like up, it messes up the yeah. whole scene. I think yeah. that frustrates me the most when somebody's in the back and they're 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 on their phone on live and they're just like, yo, yo. And I'm like, yeah. ah, I can't use that scene, so yeah. scratch that, you know. But I think as a as a director, you just you gotta go with the flow a little bit. You can't be controlling and stuff like that. I mean, because these guys are out here using their time yeah. and they're trying to have fun with it at the same time as they're trying to work. So um, you got to kind of be understanding and um, just being able to relay your message without like telling your message. So you ever shot a music video where the artist didn't even know the words to a song? <sighs> no, no, but I think the most thing is, is features probably? No, I, well, there was one, well, I'm not even going to say the name, but he, he forgot his part. It was a feature. Yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, I mean, I'll let, I mean, you could kind of tell who it was, but I'm not really going to say. Um, but he was doing a feature, it was a big time feature, and he said, hold on, let me, let me, uh, let me listen to it real quick. I mean, he was a big time guy with a feature, and he didn't really know his part. Yeah. 
Yeah, but I mean, we kind of made it work. Um, not really gonna say no names, stuff like that, but. <laughs> so what are some of the do's and the don'ts for our artists? Are you shooting a music video? I think the do's yeah. um, is actually being bringing a towel, yeah. uh, sweating on stage and stuff like that, and then actually being able to breathe when you're rapping. Yeah. Some of these guys are taking spurts throughout the studio, so they're like, okay, I'm stopping here, stopping here, but then they're just like out of breath halfway through the song, and I'm like, okay, we, we, we gotta pause, we gotta start over. Yeah. You, you can't just rap like two two words and then just be out of breath yeah, when you're jumping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we, we tell who's the smokers and who's not the smokers halfway through the video, so. <laughs> So you ever showed up to a music video shoot and the artist wasn't there and you couldn't get in contact with Oh, of, co uh, of course, absolutely. Or even, like you ever shot a movie, like somebody contacted you and they said, okay, we're gonna shoot this day, but then you find out they actually shot with somebody else. You ever had that happen? No, I haven't had that happen. I, I had people give me down payments and just not show yeah, up. Sure. I mean, that's why I do a down payment. I, I started with, obviously I started with the down payment process because I would, clear up my day, I would cancel something else, something smaller for a music video, maybe like a photo shoot or um, editing time or something like that, and I go to a location, yeah. and then the person doesn't show up, oh, I can't I can't do it today, can we reschedule? <laughs> so most of the time I'll just be like, yeah, you just gotta let me know earlier, or something like that, yeah. but if I'm waiting there for hours and you don't, you show, don't show up, answer, you're yeah. dead, yeah, you're dead. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I've had people hit me up and they're just like, oh yeah, I'm gonna send you the deposit here. Okay, let's go. And then and the next day, they're like, oh, I'm gonna send you the deposit today. And the next day, you hit me up three times and you're asking me when we can shoot. Yeah. I've been waiting for the deposit. I mean, you're dead. Like, I'm not even gonna message back. So, I mean, I, I'm trying to be serious and serious yeah. out here. So, at the same time, like, it's not even worth it to me. Cause if you're showing me this now, like wait till we get to a video, like you're gonna be like, yeah, you're gonna be seven hours late. I'm gonna be sitting there. I mean, we had a timetable of how we're gonna do this. I mean, if I want to do this, this, this is shot, and then I want this one at sunset, I, you just threw off my whole entire plan. I mean, that goes back to where nothing goes as planned during a music yeah, video, but it's nothing, it's it's not like we couldn't get to there. It's, you messed it all up, so now we can't get back to it. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a fine line between that. I mean, rappers and directors, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna be contacting for a professional, I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's me or the next guy. I don't care if this guy's his first time ever shooting a music video. You're not gonna act professionally. Just how he's gonna act professionally, I want you to act professionally. So you ever had an artist hit you up and be like, "Yo, I want to shoot a music video," but then they'd be like, "You'd be like, okay, when you want to do it? Like, I want to do it like a month later, two months, a year later." No. Yeah, yeah. Um. <laughs> what's like? What's the longest they told you they they want to do it? This guy actually hits me up every every. Two months, <laughs> saying he's gonna send me the down payment. Like yeah. I said, he's gonna go back to it. And then he calls me and we have 45 minute conversations about, about the videos and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna shoot it, oh, we're gonna shoot. He talks about all these details, stuff like that, and then we just don't get to it. But I mean, for example, I just shot a music video with somebody that told me he was just waiting on just some money to come in. Doesn't tell me where, he just said, I got some money coming in. We, we worked about for three months, maybe maybe about four months. Yeah. Talked to me about once a month, just let me know, hey, I'm gonna be getting this money, this and that, and I'm like, I'm thinking, hey, I don't know. And then all of a sudden he hits me up, he goes, I got a down payment I'm sending to you right now. Yeah. Can we shoot on this date, blah, blah, blah. And I said, yeah. He sends me the down payment and it went actually very well. I mean, we got some real high quality shots. I'm working on it right now. I mean, it just goes to show you that you don't want to burn bridges, but at the yeah. same time, you don't want anybody pushing you over, you know? The same thing over there. Yeah. So who are some, like, who are some of the favorite, your favorite artists you had the chance to work with, like you felt more comfortable with? that made your whole, like the whole directing situation more smoother? I mean, I think, I mean, I, I really like, I really like uh, two artists that I've been working with a lot, um, Ant Boy Baby, shout out to him, and then Marlo Exclusive, shout out to him. Um, we're both on, we're, I just shot my third, uh, fourth music video with Marlo. Um, we're about to shoot my um, third one with Ant Boy. I mean, they're really two professional guys yeah. that we've been, We've been building on. Um, I'm not just their videographer. I'm actually their marketing person. Yes, um, sure. They've hit up my people for um, cover arts and stuff like that. They're really two guys that I think that are doing everything the right way. I mean, they're promoting their stuff the right way. They're contacting. They're very professional when when they're doing stuff. Um, they're marketing. They know what to do to get to there where they're going. And I think they'll make it just because they know they got to spend money to make money. If you have that idea and you and you don't settle yourself for less quality work. And I mean, not, I don't care if it's with me or not. I'm, 
if they go do this video with somebody else, it's fine. I'm looking at it as a, I'm the marketing person too. Yeah. I, I don't do just videos for them. We, we we build social media stuff, we run ads, we, we run promos, we, we post on different pages and stuff like that. So we're really trying to build. Yeah. So with these two guys, they, they know where they should be at and they're heading in that direction. I mean, I think um, Amp, Amp Boy's closing in on like 7K when we first started working. He was at like 1200, I think Marlo started at 800. I mean, and Marla's, I think, almost 9K right now. So we've really been building over the last, like, six months. We, we started a, a marketing program and stuff like that. So um, we're really trying to get up to that point. So you ever, had, you ever had, like, shot a music video for an artist that didn't have enough money, but you said, okay, I'll do it. But then when it comes time to shoot the music video, they be flexing, like, all oh, the money you ever had to happen. <laughs> no. I can't I'll be lying if I say I haven't you know yeah. you know you know I'll be lying if I said I didn't but I mean oh, that's, that's crazy yeah I, I think that's kind of funny yeah but I mean you know everybody's got got money I mean it might be this boy's money something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. you know I agreed to it so I'm sticking to it I'm not gonna go say it to you later yeah, I, yeah I'm not gonna go say it to you later but I mean I think that it just comes down to what we agree on is what yeah. I'm gonna stick to if I, if I, if I, I mean, I took videos. I just took a video that I really like a song. I might have, I might have just. He's like, dude, I only got this amount of money. Um, I never really settle for my work because I, it, one, I never want to put out anything that's less. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But at the same time, um, I'll work with you if I have to. And uh, now, most artists like to display guns. What's your uh, your process of when an artist has a gun? As like long as he clocks it out right <laughs> yeah. in front of me, stuff like that. I mean, I was just shot a music video and the guy was telling me a story how the, the guy in the back, of course the one with the gun, shot at shot his floor like last month. Yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, yeah, all right, well, let's just pass over to somebody else. He can hold it over here. I mean, I don't really care about it. I mean, I've seen a lot of people um, shoot music videos, other videographers, they tell me stories where um, the cops actually like, Took his equipment because they were oh, yeah, investigating. Yeah, I, I just heard yeah. The story like that. Yeah, yeah. probably heard the same. They, would, they wouldn't say nothing about the story. They, the art, the officer was like asking, like, "Who is this guy? Who is this guy?" They're like, I don't know, I don't know. I say, "Okay, let's take your equipment." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that sense too is kind of crazy yeah, too. It's crazy. Um, yeah. Be damned to take my equipment. <laughs> I mean, we'll be going into a whole lawsuit yeah. and everything. But I mean, I think that's what some directors have to watch out for too. It's just yeah. putting that little subtitle at the end of the video. Hey, all these are yeah, props and stuff, stuff like that. Um, which I'm not saying. Um, all, all mine are props. So, um, but at the same time, it's just like you got to be careful what you're putting in your videos too. I mean, they, no one knows where we're shooting these videos and stuff like that too. But um, these these record labels and stuff like that, they're watching that yeah, stuff yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're watching what you put into it, because once you sign to them, and then you go into jail, you do nothing for them. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of these record labels are looking at it too. Okay, okay. So what percentage of artists use prop money? Uh, prop money? Yeah, would you say? <sighs> that you shot with? 1%. 1%? <laughs> One kid ever used it. One kid. <laughs> ever used it, I mean. And you couldn't tell either, so. Yeah, you couldn't tell. No names, no names, but. I mean, if, if you know me, you know which one did it. <laughs> so, I mean, a lot of these kids really be having the money though. I mean, these kids be grinding for it. So, um, I'm not gonna tell them what to do and what to not to do with their money, but they know. I mean, if you're putting out a video, stuff like that, and you, somebody sees prop money, are you, you're just gonna laugh at it, so. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. So you ever uh, shot a music video and you like edit the whole thing and the artist didn't even like it at all? <sighs> Yeah, I, I can't. I'll be lying if I say I did. I think every director's went in there. Yeah. I mean, he's not saying not like it at all, but um, it's like change this, change this, change this, change this. Like that. I think I, I've shot I shot a music video all the time. And I think the artist didn't even like the song to begin with. It was such an old song of his. He hated the song so much of his own music that he didn't like the video no matter what I put it there. I've, I I'll usually give somebody two corrections. Yeah. You tell me what you don't like. And I'll correct it. I'll correct this and this. If you don't like that, okay, we're gonna FaceTime and you're gonna show me exactly what you Absolutely. like and don't like. After that, I can't tell you because yeah, yeah, he he admitted he's like I don't even like this song. I'm like, so what do you possibly do you want me to do? Yeah, so you gotta actually. Why do I gotta believe in your stuff more than you believe in it? 
That's crazy. So. <laughs> so you ever got in a fight with an artist, like doing a music video or argument, like, no? No, what never. If, what about you ever shot a music video and like two homeboys got into it? Or no, like no, I, I, no, it wasn't really. I mean, you should, shouldn't have that type of drama around in the yeah. video anyways. I think I communicate with my artist before the video. Um, so right when you shoot a music video with me, um, as soon as you lock in a down payment, we're actually gonna have a phone call, me and usually my partner Grant. Yeah. Um, he's real good with story planning and stuff like that. Yeah. So we'll come on, we'll have a phone call, we'll have a phone conference with you, maybe your manager. So be four way call or three way call. Yeah. Um, and we'll talk about the scenes. We're gonna talk about scenes, we're gonna talk about angles, we're gonna talk about outfits, we're gonna talk about what times and everything like that. So that way we're on the most close, yeah. Yeah. like I said, not always gonna be as planned, but we're gonna go as closely to that as we can. We're gonna try to do what we can do, so that way everybody's on the same page. We come down to the music video. I'm just tweaking stuff. Okay, you're gonna turn your body this way. Or you're gonna turn your body this way. A little bit more hype on here. Yeah. Stuff like that. So that way we're on the same page when we're going back and forth. I think that you just you gotta believe in your music more than the director does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, we gotta we gotta really. You gotta believe in your stuff, and we'll help you believe in it. But we can't believe in it more than you can believe in it.